So the project is to replace this commercial uh, off centre fed dipole for 40 metres. It's worked okay for three years. I had to fit a choke uh, on the feed line to stop corn mode currents and then I had an issue also uh, throughout its, its tenure with uh, 40 metres, uh, 200 watts on sideband uh, caused the SWR to rise a bit and then the rig would fall back to 100 watts. So it struggled a bit with 200 watts on 40. It's supposed to take uh, the UK legal limit, which is 400. You can see there on the side, there, there's some heating gone on inside. It's melted the side a little bit. But other than that, it's been a, a reasonable antenna. Worked okay. I've had DX on it, but this is what we're going to replace. And as well as off centre fed dipoles like this one, a full loop antennas also present something around 200 ohms at the feed point. So a combined 4 to 1 transformer and 1 to 1 choke ballon uh, is a great project for off centre fed dipoles as well as full wave loops. Now regulars to the channel will remember I made this 80 metre dipole with a choke ballon designed by Peter TRX Lab on YouTube. Uh, he's got a series of videos uh, on how to build some excellent chokes, transformers and balance and that's what I'll be referring to here. So I'll put the link to Peter's uh, YouTube channel in the description. So it's back with the chopping board so to speak and I'm going to replicate my open air 80 meter dipole centre with some chopping board and these two 240 type 43 ferrites. Uh, make a T piece the top one will be a 4 to 1 transformer and the bottom one will be a 1 to 1 ballon. And to start the project we need two ferrite cores, these are 240 size and type 43 and eight 1 meter lengths of 18 gauge silicon coated silver plated copper wire. This is a special wire for this project, not just any old wire as you'll see if you watch Peter's video. I'll put a link above where I made this uh, one to one choke ballon uh, first time round for my 80 meter dipole but basically here you can see uh, two pairs of wires soldered together and we're going to take 12 turns over the red and black at one side and 12 turns up the other and i've found it helps if you stretch the wire first because it is a tight fit getting 12 turns up you can see here i've got 12 at one side just finishing off the left hand side and here it is complete. You'll need cable ties at the start and at the end otherwise it'll all come unraveled but stretching is definitely the way to go. So on the left hand side you can see the completed one-to-one -one choke balance so the same colour leads are connected at both ends so red to red black to black and on the right hand side is the start of the four-to-one transformer. Now this left hand wind is exactly the same process as you've completed on the one-to-one -one choke. So it's the same pair of black and red wires up one side of the ferrite. So the right hand side of the four-to-one transformer is where things uh, differ. You can see here you're coming up from the bottom of the ferrite rather than down from the top and also the red wire is the first wire. Uh, if you remember on the left hand side we have the black wire as the bottom wire, the first wire. This time it's red. So coming up from the back and red wire first. So I've got some diagrams coming to help explain this but this is the finished transform on the right. You can see again 12 turns up the right hand side but a different pattern. Uh, I know it's difficult to see in the completed form but the uh, left hand side is the one to one ballon and the right hand side is the four to one transformer and it's the windings and how we connect them that make them perform in the way they do. So this is the diagram of the one-to-one -one choke ballon. Uh, 12 turns down both sides of the ferrite of the two wires. Uh, you keep the colour codes matching in the diagram to the right. I flip this round to match Peter's video. So if you're watching his, this will this will link in with how he's done his. Uh, but effectively it's the same either way around. Uh, and you join both wires at each end, so black to black uh, and red to red. So this is the pictorial representation of the 4 to 1 transformer. Like I said, the left hand side is just the same as the choke, 12 turns up the side of the ferrite. The right hand side, you come up from the back with the red wire first. And as they exit the top after 12 turns, you join the exiting black wire from the right with the red wire on the left. 
the bottom two wires, the reds and the blacks are just joined uh, as with the chalk. And here you can see both lined up, uh, the chalk at the bottom and the transformer at the top. And you can see how the connections come together. So if you're making your own 4 to 1 transformer and 1 to 1 chalk ballon, uh, this is the slide to come back to uh, in the video. This shows you the windings and also the positioning of the transformer at the top and the chalk at the bottom and how the wires come together. If you don't connect this correctly, it will not function as a 4 to 1 transformer with a 1 to 1 chalk ballon. So here I'm just positioning the ferrites on the backing board with the transform at the top and the choke at the bottom you can see the wires aligned there red to red black to black and here just tacking them together with solder and attaching an SO239 at the bottom note the black to the center and the red to the outside so to test the one to one choke ballon I have joined two 100 ohm resistors in parallel to achieve a 50 ohm load and this is attached to one side of the ferrite uh, and the other winding is attached to the antenna analyzer. And here you can see it's a low SWR across the HF bands, uh, one to one. Uh, and I just need to flick up on another setting there to get 10 meters, again, 1.2, 1.1. So a good result across HF. And this time to test the four to one transformer, I've got two 100 ohm resistors in series to give a 200 ohm load. They're connected to the outside wires you can see here and the center are connected together as per the diagram. Uh, here you can see them on the top of the transformer. Uh, analyzer attached, uh, 40 meters, one to one, uh, flicking to HF, 70 meters, 20 meters, uh, still one to one, so it's converting that 200 ohm load down to 50 ohms. Rises a bit there at 15 meters at 1.2, and here 10 meters, about 1.3, but that'll be fine in practice. So the final bench test is to connect the one-to-one -one choke ballon at the bottom there to the transformer at the top with the 200 ohm load. And here we are flicking through the HF bands again, 40 meters, one-to-one. Uh, -one. And uh, we see the same performance throughout uh, as we saw earlier. It rises about 1.2 uh, by the time we get to the 10 meter band. So uh, really happy with that. So constructing the centre of the antenna is fairly straightforward. I've cut a piece of aluminium to hold the SO239 and here just placing the ferrites in position to size up where to drill holes. And here you can see thimbles attached to each side of the T-piece to take the wire. And here's the back of the board just showing the holes for the SO239 bracket and uh, places where I can put cable ties through. And this is the centerpiece ready for testing. I've just put it together temporarily. I realized the locking nut on the SO239 was on the wrong side. Uh, the black tape is just there to remind me which side of the ferrite is which. And connections now at the top there ready for antenna wire. And you can see the thimbles on the side. Uh, this is the back of the plate, uh, quite neat with the uh, stainless steel fittings and cable ties. And as I said at the beginning of the video, the 4 to 1 transformer is what you need on an off-centre fed dipole as well as full wave loops. And the 1 to 1 choke ballon uh, for both of those and uh, standard dipoles, it's a good idea to put it on your dipole. My 80 metre dipole uh, performs excellently. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Join me in part 2 and we'll turn this into an off-centre fed dipole and see how it performs. If you've enjoyed this video, there's lots more like this on the channel, including operational exploits. Please consider subscribing. 73.